should be back to back in business here. Oh boy. <laughs> you guys looking up there? That ain't right. Yeah, ain't right. That ain't right. Okay, so there's a few things that are going on here. One is our display, like the numbers on that display are going from seven to 35. I'm gonna guess that that's because that's what my climate entity is telling it to do. So we're gonna go into Visual Studio here. We're gonna go into the configuration here. We're gonna find that master floor, master floor heat. And here it is right here. It's, it goes from seven to 35, the minimum temp seven, maximum temp 35. I don't think we need to go minimum seven, maximum 35. I mean, what's the minimum in Celsius that you ever set your air conditioning to? Maybe 14 and the maximum can be like 30. I don't think we're ever going to change it from there. You wait while we're here. I'm going to change a couple other things here. The away temp. Okay. I'll leave the away temp at 20 or change it to 20. Let's change that, save that. And now we'll do another restart here because I changed, that's in the configuration.yaml, unfortunately. There's probably another way to just change the display, but I'm assuming that the display is grabbing it from the configuration file. So we'll start with changing that. We'll get it reloaded here shortly. We can, in the meantime, go back in. All right, we're going to go in here back to Visual Studio. Well, there it goes. You can see it updated. And you know, th th this being the heat, you really don't want it to display the whole thing probably. It doesn't have the number, like the number in the middle is not right, but look at where it shows the temperature at. Oh my gosh, like 16 and a half. What the blazes? It says it's 16 degrees in there and it says the heat, that, that is clearly not working. Something is wrong, but that's correct. It's just not showing the right information. And it's red, meaning it's heating. So that's good. Turn the heat way up. Okay, that's good. It's actually, that's working. Let's see if it changes. You see how this is down here? This is what I've got it set to. Let's change it. Yeah, and it updates, right? Oh boy, that's fast too. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, and if I change it here, it changes in Home Assistant. Mm -mm -mm, right there. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Okay, we got that working. All right, well, that's good. So, so far, I'd say um, we we have moderate success. I should probably have something that says like, you know, you rolled a 15, because more like what we did so far, we rolled a 15. We're not quite there as far as getting it all done, but let's let's move on to the next step. We did get the heat to work and it responds. So I got the correct temperature sensor and I got the correct climate entity. I got the correct heat climate entity. Let's go see what else we need to change. HVAC mode heating cooling drying fan only okay i don't have those options in my hvac my hvac i do have just a an air conditioner all right let's try and work on the air conditioning part so we did the heat part now let's do the air conditioning part in my case i have a different unit for the air conditioner so let's look at my air conditioner unit which is this right here main floor ac and right now the target temperature is way down we're going to go climate all right we're going to take this climate main floor ac and that's what it is i'm going to go here drop down with hvac modes so we're going to change this i can't do it where i change it every time because it would change it up above there as well so i have to do it here there should be another way though well, there is a way, but I'm not sure what it is. So we're just going to paste that in there. Move over here. Paste that in there. Sometimes you just got to be careful. Sometimes you don't get the option of doing things automatically. You got to just go through one at a time. Just be careful. Certainly the probability of messing up is higher when you do it this way. Missing one, we got to do what we got to do. All right, so my main floor, AC, I don't want the heat. So I am going to 
take out some of these things. In fact, if I look at what options I have, I really only have off and cool. So I am going to take out everything except off and cooling. We're gonna take out fan only and drying as well. So really it's just off and cool. Okay, so here I've got some more options. Up here we need to take out because I don't want these options either. So we'll have to, let's see, where does this, this is tricky when, I, when you start modifying these things, this is a good way to break it. If mode equals off, then set it to off is basically what this is saying. So if mode equals heat, then set it to heat. So I don't want that. Cool and set it to cooling, okay. And then I don't need any of these others, else just on. So it's either off, cooling, or on. Okay, that's that one. I think we're good there. So I'm gonna save that. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make that fatal mistake that you make sometimes when you do two changes at once. <laughs> I am going to now do the fan, because you know I've got that, we call it the quiet cool. Oh, those are switches, it's not even a climate. So see, I've got this switch, quiet, cool, high, low, and medium. So how can I make that work? What I want is this, object properties, state, fan modes. I want to modify this so that it gives me my options to change my quiet, cool, fan speeds. That would be ideal. Hmm. What if I go back here and look at what I'm doing on my climate page? Well, that may not work. I guess this is only if it's set to fan modes. Now I just took fan modes off the options. Your plate, that needs to change. So this is something else. I said your plate. So it shouldn't be your plate. I need to change this to the Landbon L1. I'm squirreling within huh? the context of a single object here, but I'm still squirreling. So your plate here needs to instead be Landbon one. That'll be important. So that'll change something that it displays. All right, well, let's do a control S. So I'm gonna do a restart. So probably what I'll need to do is just have, well, we'll see if I can do it with some kind of, with the drop downs. It would be nice if it was on this one page, but if not, that's okay. Maybe what we need is just a separate screen for quiet cool instead of trying to make quiet cool work on this same screen. Because my heat stuff is set turn on and off based on a node red flow, it has to the node red flow has to run once before this happens and it doesn't run immediately. So there's okay, so that's good. But what happens there? Maybe I should just have a different thermostat for each climate entity and then just delete the things I don't need because by mixing multiple climate entities, now my display is not gonna sh be showing the correct climate entity, right? My display where the temperature is showing is still going to be looking at the master bedroom heat climate entity. If I turn on the cooling here, the air conditioning will come on, but the climate setting ability that I have here with this dial and the information it's giving me are still coming from the heating climate entity and not air conditioning climate entity. So I probably just need to delete the things I'm not gonna use. I do like how it is though. So this example is pretty cool. Oh, oh, cool. So as I tap this thing in the middle, it's moving the set temperature up a little. If you tap it, you just wanna go up by decimal points rather than try and get fine tune it with this thing. You just tap that middle bit. Let's figure out this middle button thing. So that middle button, is so it's 23 let's try and fix the buttons fix the buttons i think this 25 is something so let's let's do something silly like so let's just change the font size and make it super big <laughs> and then we'll see where it shows up we'll see what changes we'll save that and then we'll reload the pages okay it updated That's weird. Okay, well, somehow it now works. You see that button in the middle now? It works now. I know, I was going back and forth between those two. This one, this one definitely is the text in the middle that does the plussing. Target temperature is down in the corner. Still not doing the long press though. It's doing short press. It's going up one at a time. For some reason now the master bedroom, it says it's 22.4 in there. <laughs> Let's see if that 
Let's see if that's changed. No, this says it's 16.9. So it must be grabbing the temperature from someplace else. What a mess. Label target temperature. That's the one that's down there in the corner. And it's working. Aha. Look at this. There's a problem. Right there. Looks like we missed a couple of temp room ones. And the 22.4 is their default. That's what it is. Okay, here we go. This is where we're this is where we're goofed up. And it is button number 23. So somehow I missed that. So we got to change the temperature sensor. So the temperature sensor is going to be coming from Lumi Lumi something. It's got a funky name. Lumi Lumi weather blah blah blah, blah temperature. Lumi Lumi. There's our temperature sensor. All right. Copy. Back up here. And there's where we missed it. So we're going to fix this. Fix it here, fix it here. Okay. That should at least give us the right number displayed in that middle part, which it was not doing. So this will help that. Restart the whole home assistant every time. Okay, there we go. Now we're back. You can see up there in the, in the display bit. Oh, there it goes. Yay. I'm going to call this a success. We're going to say, we did it. We did it. We did it. Do, 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 do. We do have a thermostat displayed. We do have the ability to control the climate entity in Home Assistant. And we have uh, appropriate temperature sensor responses. So we're going to call that a win. Is not complete. We'll have to come back and, re and redo or fix a couple of those things to make it more perfect -er. but for now, I'm pretty happy.